Hey everyone, I'm here to show you today how to measure the flow rate on any of your faucets in your home. So I'm Mr. Hentridge and this is... Hi, I'm Jalen. And that's my daughter and we're going to do this together. Uh, you will need a partner to help you do this today in order to get some precise measurements. Uh, but the way that we're going to do it today is going to be one of the easiest ways for you to measure the flow rate of pretty much any faucet or tap in your home. Uh, so we are going to need a couple pieces of uh, equipment in order to do this. So the first thing we're going to need is... A bowl. A good size bowl, something that's going to be able to handle a little bit of volume from the uh, from the tap. And then in order to make sure that we can get a precise measurement, you're also going to need some measuring devices. So we're going to use measuring cups. You might have something else that has uh, some numbers on it that are going to help you to measure uh, pretty close to what the volume of water is that you have. Uh, we're also going to be timing how long we have these faucets turned on for. So we're going to use, what are we going to use? We're gonna use five seconds. We're gonna count it in Mississippi's. You might wanna use hippopotami. I don't know what you wanna use, but use whatever you want to do the uh, five seconds. And if you have a stopwatch, of course, you can use that as well. Uh, so with uh, anything else, we'll uh, get started. We'll show you how to do this. Okay, we're gonna fill it up now. Ready? One, One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, so now that we've got our water, we're gonna to need to take some really good measurements and see how much water we actually have in the bowl. So now that we have our five seconds worth of water, we're going to measure it out. So we're gonna pour this in, and Jalen, why don't you tell me when we've gotten to uh, a, a certain volume that it's easy to read off of the milliliters. 350, 400. 450. So we've got 450 milliliters. I'm just going to dump that guy down there. And then we're going to actually measure the last amount that I have here. Exactly 100 milliliters. So we have... Or milliliters. Milliliters, yeah. So we have 450 and then 100, so all together. So we got 550 milliliters that happened in five seconds. So that's actually a really great number for us. That works out really easy. So I can divide that 550 by five and actually find out how many milliliters pours out every second from that tap. Uh, so if I do that, what do we get? 110. 110 milliliters every second. You can use that then to help you estimate washing your hands and things like that. Uh, any tap that you're going to measure, you're going to need that to do that in your house. So get to work, get a bowl, a measuring device, and have some fun.